International Space Station, or ISS, is the largest artificial satellite in orbit today. And it's the biggest spacecraft ever built. You can even see it without a telescope if you look in the right place at the right time. There's a website that can tell you when and where you'll be able to see the space station. You won't see it every day, and unfortunately you won't see it if it's very cloudy or if it's going to rain. But the international crew of people who live on the space station can always see Earth through the windows. The station is orbiting 386 kilometres above our planet, and it's travelling at 32,410 kilometres an hour. It's very important that the astronauts can always see Earth, because inside the space station, they're weightless, and this can be confusing. It's difficult to know what's up and what's down when you're floating in space. Inside, it's an enormous laboratory where the astronauts are researching and testing new technologies for the future. The weightlessness caused by zero gravity means daily life is difficult for anyone travelling or living in space. One of the most important scientific projects that the crew are researching is the effect of zero gravity on the human body. This research will help scientists to plan long-term space travel in the future. The crew check their own health daily, and they also have to exercise for two hours each day on a treadmill or bicycle while they're in space. Without exercise, their muscles will become very weak and they won't be able to walk or stand up when they return home. Eating, drinking and sleeping are all challenging when you're weightless. The day begins at 6am when the crew get up. They spend their day doing experiments and looking after the space station. The station is solar powered. The huge solar panels capture the sun's energy and convert it into electricity. This electricity powers everything on board. The station has water from Earth and they store this in bags. This water can be used to make oxygen. The water splits into oxygen and hydrogen through a process similar to photosynthesis. The hydrogen goes into space and the crew can use the oxygen to breathe. Scientists hope that we're going to travel further into space for longer periods of time in the future. So the research being done on the ISS is very important. The amount of time that people can stay in space is increasing all the time. On the last manned moon landing in 1972, the Apollo 17 mission, the astronauts spent just over 12 days in space. Today, the crews live on the space station for several months at a time. Some new astronauts are arriving next month.
The idea that people will live on the moon one day could become a reality. There are plans to build a permanent base for astronauts on the moon in the future. But this will be very expensive, so nobody knows exactly when it's going to happen. Scientists think that they will learn more about life with zero gravity when people live on the moon. There are also plans to build an observatory on the moon so that people can study the solar system. This will help space exploration in the future. Spacecraft will be able to take off from the moon and travel further into space to explore many other planets. USA also hopes that astronauts will land on Mars by the year 2037. But until then, the crew of the International Space Station will continue to learn more to prepare for a life in space in the future. <laughs>